This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Susan Faulkner, Evans, and Bowes. Bo, we're in our warm up and we're playing with connecting him for the first. This is the eighth time we've asked Bo to stay connected in the second level. But what we're doing now is we're asking him to stay more connected in the warm up. And this is the first time we've really asked for so much connection in the warm up. What we're doing is, Susan, as you can see, he looks nice and lazy today. Let him catch his breath. All right, bigger trot right away. Yep. Bigger. Bigger. Yep, get him in front of your legs right away. More. I know, he's like, I don't feel like it. More. Needs more activity. More activity. That's it, even more. More. Good. That's the trot you're going to try to do everything out of, okay? Okay. Two steps to the left rein and leg. Connecting. She's connecting the left hind to the left front to the rein. Good. And then two steps to the right. You can do a straight line in between. He's not going to be able to do it at first, as you'll notice. That's right. Hug the rein against the base of his neck. Your rein is too long. Good. Now expect at first he's not going to know how to do it. Good. Shift him against the other rein and leg. Get his inside hind leg a lot more active. Get him active on the right hind. Praise him. Outside rein is too long. Good. And it's going to be a lot of, you're going to be doing a lot of changes. If you feel him fish tailing, that's when you're going to push him to the other rein and leg. Take your time. That's right. Keep his body straight. That's where your outside rein is too long. If his haunches turn to the right, you don't have enough feel on the right rein. So you're going to use the right rein to control his back end more now, or whatever rein you're using. Good. This is new to Bo. So this is an exercise, a two-step or three-step, whatever you're, whatever you're doing, one you're doing, that a rider can use so that they can feel where they're locking up. And it could be unconscious with their riding position or when the horse is locking up because she's connecting them to two steps on the left side, going straight a couple steps, and then two steps to the right rein and leg. Good. Feel which one he's connected to. That's right. Get the inside hind foot more active when you do it. And praise him. That's right. That's where the outside rein was too long. I know it's going to drive you crazy, isn't it? That's it. Praise him. As long as his nose is up like that, the outside rein isn't telling him where to keep it, so you won't have... That's it. That's it. Feel him picking you up different? So this is going to give you a different feeling of how to keep him under your seat for second level. Praise him. Lots of praise. That's it. He doesn't know what he's doing right here. That's all it is. Oh, he's really stepping under though, isn't he? Yes. Can you feel like he's more under you? What do you feel? Do a couple steps short trot and let's see how big we can get him. He should be feeling pretty powerful to you right now. Okay, get his energy, yeah, get him as powerful as you can. Think passage. That's it. That's it. Think passage. Good, 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 good. That's it. Now get him to step up even more in the passage he trot. It's really short steps. Get him to, that's it. Get him to step up more until you feel him get bigger. That's all right. You can do that. You can step into either rein. He's going to say it's really hard. Good. Okay, now just feel. Is he uphill? Get him up. Keep him uphill. There you go. There you go. There you go. And now let him flow a little bit. Once he gets uphill, you can go forward a little bit. He won't know what to do with it at first. Good. That's it. Good. Get him more uphill. More activity. More activity. That's it. Good, good. More activity. That's it. More. That's it. More activity. The front end's good. More activity. Just play with this now with adding the activity. That's right. And make sure he's on whichever your outside rein and leg is, whichever direction you're going. Like you'll notice when he trots away, he kind of drops his balance. So now you want to feel when you come out of whatever you're doing to see if you can keep him connected so he stays uphill. Get him more active. Put him against one rein and leg or the other. Praise him. Let him flow. Good. 
good. He's going to hold it. He's going to lose it right about here. So push him. Yep. Shorten the steps again. Ask him to get bigger. More activity. A lot more activity. A lot, much better with your outside rein, by the way. If he swings his haunches over too far, it's because your outside rein is too long. Even though our outside rein was on the inside this time. Good. You're just shortening his body by asking him to step under more. Good. Take your time. And as soon as you feel him like right there, let him flow a couple steps. And you can add a lateral movement or whatever you want to it. Just get a flow and feel when he starts disconnecting. Nice, Susan. Right there. Add something different right there. One rein or leg or the other, more activity, more activity. Good, more activity. Straighten him out, let him flow. That's right, that's it. He's, you're riding him more from your seat now. Good, good. Let him go straight and flow. As soon as he comes under your seat and picks up his back, you let him flow forward. Good, let him flow. He'll only hold it three or four steps. Right here, put him back under your seat. More activity. Yep, more activity. Good, Susan. It's there. Now let him flow. Good. He'll only do it for five or six steps. As soon as you feel it, you're just going to, that's, that's right. Get him to go against your right hand and leg. More activity. Everything's going to be more activity. More activity. And by activity, we're just asking Bo to step under more with his hind feet. As a result, he's taking up a more live feeling with the reins. Yeah, you can feel the reins are really alive now, aren't they? Okay, when he goes dead on the reins, when you feel them go numb, that's where you're going to do two steps to the whatever rein you want. Get them more active. Praise them a lot. And as soon as he's in the right place, let him flow. Activity. This is really hard because now for second level, Bo will have to stay a lot straighter from behind. There you go. Good, good. That's it. Tell me when you feel him disconnect. Yes, you felt it going around the corner. So every corner you want to make sure that he's on that outside rein and leg, but supple on it. Because his idea of going around a corner is he just does his thing. Now we're asking him to stay active more. Good. Praise him a lot. This is where he has to make a lot of mistakes because we've never warmed him up connected before. Good. Praise him a lot. Let him flow. That's his reward is you let him flow for a couple steps. Then he'll lose it after a couple steps because they all do. That's it. Put them back together again. Get him against the outside rein and leg sooner. More activity. So you want to make sure on every corner that he's really active on your outside rein and leg. Good boy, Bo. That's right. Get him more active. More active. Good. Praise him. More active. That's good. Good. You're getting a different response to when he locks up now, Susan. Very nice. Do you feel him carrying you different? Yes. He's going to lose it right here. This is where you're going to do shoulder in. Get him active on your outside rein and leg. Yes. More active. Praise him. Yes, you can feel. He's just not sure where his back end should be when you're doing them now. Oh, look at this. You're getting the front end now. Do you feel it? Good. He's going to lose it right here. So shoulder in. Get in his left hind more active. Get him against your outside rein and leg. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. And let him flow. And you can go straight across the ring, whatever you want to do. Good. Now whenever you feel him disconnect, like right there, he's going to disconnect. Same thing. Think shoulder in. Get him, yeah, get him to step up. That's it. Get him Now get him on that outside rein and leg with more activity. More activity. That's it. More. Good. 
ahead. Praise him. As soon as he changes it again, you just keep doing the same routine. He's going to lose it right here because they all do. Get him more active outside. Praise him. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Get up. Yep, outside rain is too long. Yep, you're going to use the up. You shorten the outside rain until you feel him shifting back. Do you feel it? Okay, so now the outside rain you're going to keep focusing on is he's shifting back. If he's not, your outside rain is too long for this level. Good. And he's figuring it out, so you're going to feel him do all kinds of stuff. Yep, outside rain's going to keep his shoulder up. Praise him a lot. Good. That's right, and don't forget to add the flow. That's it. Good. Yeah, Susan. Yep, outside rain is too long. It's so easy to see from the ground, I know. So you just keep checking. If he gets tight on the outside rain, he's not supple, which means that, yep, you've got to have the outside rain towards the inside hind just a little bit. So he stays on his left hind. More active with his left hind. Good. He's saying it's hard. He is right. Get him more active with his right hind, even though you've got to keep him active on that left rein and leg, because that's your outside rein. Good, Susan. If he fishtails, you're not using enough outside leg to keep his rear end in. So when you feel the fishtail, you've got to add your outside leg to your outside rein. Good. Add your outside leg. Just hold, let go, hold, let go activity. So be like now, now, now. So she's using her leg in rain when his outside hind leg is coming off the ground. If it's on the inside, it would be his inside leg in rain. Good, good. That's right. Good. Keep his head up. Good, good. And then let him flow a little with lots of praise. This is where you need to supple him sooner on the outside rain and leg. So by the time you get here, he should already be supple on the outside rein and leg. Needs to be, that's it. Then you can supple him with your inside rein and leg. That was nice. Could you feel what was happening in that trot? Yeah, or, uh, what, what were you feeling different? You started feeling something. Can you put words on it? I don't know if he was coming in and out. Yes. Yep, because this yeah. is a whole different connection. That was good, Susan.